Hey everyone, in this video I am going to discuss the compare version numbers problem. So basically, in this problem you are given two versions. Like what are versions? These could be the version of the software but in our scenario like these are two strings and you have to compare them. Like if version 1 is less than version 2 then you have to return minus 1. In else case it, you would return 1 and if both are equal then you would be returning 0. So there are two important things which you need to understand. First is the revision. What are revisions? So let us say your string is this. Uh, these are decimals. Zero, three, zero. So the characters or the numbers between two decimal are considered as one revision. So here zero, 010 zero would be one revision and you would not be considering this trailing zeros so only 10 would be your revision one revision one would be your revision 20 would be your one revision 30 would be your one revision so these are revisions and second thing is that you do not need to consider the trailing zeros so for example there is a revision of this kind so you won't be considering these two zeros in the comparison so now so let us say I'll run through some of the examples to help you understand better. So let us say you are given these two strings. This is V1, this is V2 and you have to compare between both of them. So what you would need to do like you have to find out the revision. This is one revision, this is zero and this is one. This would be one, this would be zero and for zero to it would be two. So now you could compare both of them and you could easily see that like 2 is greater than 1 so v2 is greater than v1. So now let us look at the code to understand the solution what I have done. Like first of all I am doing I am getting this get revisions. I have made this get revisions function which will take a string and return you a vector containing consisting of all the revisions. So basically it's very simple thing what I have done like I am iterating over whole of the string. I'll I'd also maintain it. I'd also maintain this output string. I am adding character only the non zero, uh, non zero not only the uh, characters which are like omitting after omitting the trailing zeros. I am adding into this output string and I'd also like for moving my uh, for moving my I pointer over the trailing zeros like I am incrementing it over here and then I am pushing it into a vector and then I am returning it like you could go th go through it and you could understand it easily and then what I am going to do like for if I now I have got the revision for both of these strings so I'll like for the minimum of the vector sizes I'll start comparing and if it's like exceed like there could be a scenario like uh, there could be a scenario in which the revisions look like this 1 0 3 so like what I am going to do is like for the both for minimum of both of them I'll like check like for 1 0 1 I'll check and for rest of the values I'll consider the revisions as 0 as what it is mentioned in the question so that I had done in this code like if it exceeds then I'll start comparing it with zero and then I'll return it accordingly and if in case nothing I am not like both of them are identical so I'll return zero in last scenario. So yeah you could look at look at it and like let me know in the comment section like if you face any query I'll more than happy to answer that. Yeah thanks thanks a lot for watching.